What's up everybody? My name is Dan and this is DTM Design. Welcome to another build video. Today we're going to be making a display for a tufted rug. Now this tufted rug was made by my girlfriend, so if you'd like to see the whole process on how that is made and done, you can go check out her Instagram right here. Uh, she has a bunch of cool videos and reels and stuff showing how everything is made, so go check that out. Uh, but for today, I'm just going to be making a wooden silhouette of the rug that she gave me and uh, also adding some lighting features and stuff to it to be able to mount onto my wall instead of just having it sit on the floor or on a shelf or something like that. I kind of wanted to find a cooler way to display it and just kind of add a little more vibe to the room. And so I figured this is the best way to do it. So I hope you guys enjoy watching this video and if you could leave a like or a comment or even subscribe to this channel, I highly appreciate it. But without further ado, let's get right into the video and here we go. All right, so starting off this build, I just made a quick silhouette of this rug. Um, and with this silhouette, I'm going to be mounting it to this piece of walnut right here uh, to be able to cut out the shape. I would normally do something like this in my laser cutter, but it's just too big to fit into the cutting bed. So we're going to have to do it by hand, which is fine. Um, it's good to have all these skills on hand for stuff like this. So using a nice fine finished blade, I use my jigsaw and just start cutting out the wood. Uh, first off, just getting rid of all the excess wood that I'm not going to be actually using or needing at this point and just putting it to the side. And so we have this rough cutout of the shape. So now we can go in and actually start cutting the actual detail and the true shape that we want. And just kind of taking my time, cutting in corners, and just making sure I don't cut too far deep. And just making sure I get the most accurate um, cut toward the silhouette and being as close to the edge and not going too in or over on the other side or anything like that. So once that was done, I had to cut out one more because I wanted to thicken up this piece of wood so there's no way of it warping or anything while it's hanging on my wall. Um, so then going ahead and using some wood glue, I'm just going to mount these together. Uh, using a plastic styrene uh, little piece of plastic, I'm just kind of spread out the glue so it's nice and evenly spread. Make sure it's on all the edges and there's just a good amount on there so it's a real tight bond. And then align these up as best I could since they're cut at different times. They're not like super accurate to each other. So I'm going to have to do some sanding to clean that up. Um, moving on, I go ahead and cut out the shape of the actual rug. So the actual size of it. This wood is going to be used as like a back support or just to stiffen up the rug. So it's going to be hanging up on the wall and it's not going to be sagging weird or anything like that since the rug has no true support to it. Um, so with this stuff, it was just cut with some MDF and I had to kind of split the cut to fit it into the laser but i did um opposites of each other so they could glue together real nice and still be supportive and then taking the nice piece of walnut i brought it to my work so i could sand up the edges and clean all that up and then also sand the surface so it's a little smoother than how i got it um, it was already pretty smooth to begin with but no nothing's going to hurt making it nice and a little smoother and just kind of doing your own finish to it so now you see me go ahead and just gluing the back of the carpet, fully committing to this build. Because if I mess this up, then uh, this rug is kind of ruined in a way. Um, so just using some weights, I glue that down. And I did this in my office because I don't want to get the rug dirty out in the garage in any way. I want to keep it as clean as possible so my office is a lot cleaner. Uh, then we go ahead and I just use, these are some electronics that I bought online. Um... They are just the LEDs, and then I kind of make an oval shape that they're going to be mounted onto, which will be uh, sandwiched in between the rug and the fine finished wood that's the backing. Uh, so you can see the oval shape there, and then this is the super glue that I have uh, to mount it all together. Um, I make sure I get the edges real well in the center, so nothing's going to be like splitting at any point in time or separating in any way. And then back into my office to glue this down. Like I said, to keep the rug nice and clean, we just spread on some glue on the back of the oval and I just glue that down to the wood that's on attached to the carpet. Uh, using a weight so it has a nice press and it's gonna glue firmly. Then I go back out into the garage and use some stain to stain up the walnut. Uh, just using a little rag there to spread it out and then I let that dry while I do the electronics. Now I kind of set these up Test the lights, make sure they work before they're fully on there and everything. And then kind of tape together some of the loose wires that were extra, or just an extra length of wire that I didn't really need scattering around. And then using the back set of tape to glue that and mount that to the wood. And then taking my drill and some screws, I screw the fine finished wood to the little oval that's in between the rug and everything. So those screws kind of pull everything together and the piece is done at this point. 
Uh, all I had to do was go put some studs in my drywall and that's it. The build is done. Uh, here's some nice detailed shots for you guys to check out. Thank you for watching this video. Hopefully I didn't talk too fast or ramble too much and I'll see you in the next one. That was the build video for today. Hope you guys enjoyed following along as I made the display for the tufted rug. Uh, I had a lot of fun putting it together and I think it looks pretty cool on my wall. So I'm definitely gonna enjoy checking that out every time I walk into my room. Um, thank you guys for watching this video. And if you could just comment, like, and subscribe, I'd highly appreciate it. And if you could check out my Instagram, DTM underscore design, uh, you can see more frequent updates and just high quality photos of all my builds and past builds. And also go check out all my other videos. I have a bunch of build videos. I hope you guys have a great day and I'll see you next time.